Okay, hey, the number one thing that agents struggle with at, at using the phone, selling by phone, is the actual presentation process. The presenting portion, what do I say? How do I go about it? So I'm gonna cover five things, all right? I've got a five-step process. You're gonna watch this, wanna watch this video till the very end, all of a special bonus at the end. I'm gonna cover five things, okay? I'm gonna cover um, my five-step process, okay? I have a five-step process for actually presenting to someone, whether it be in person or over the phone. A lot of agents are struggling with this right now. I was just on a coaching session with my, with my, with my buddy Wilfred, okay? He joined Success Society because he wants to be around other winners and he wants to learn, he wants to expand, right? If you're not a part of Success Society, it's almost free, it's ridiculous, okay? So make sure you do that, okay? Check out CodyAskins.com for that. This five-step process, is meant because I was just talking to Wilfred and I said, hey dude, what's like he's making he's making 10 grand a month, so you know, plus selling over the phone. That's okay, that's fine. But he's but but he wants to do more. He wants to strive, right? He's 22, he's a boxer down in Houston, like the dude's it's a cool dude. And he, he and he and I said, hey, what's the biggest problem you're experiencing right now? Okay, and I want you to think about it right now. As what you're watching right now, think in your mind, what's the biggest problem you're experiencing right now? And put it in the comments below. I want to know. Because with Wilfred, what he said was, the biggest thing I'm struggling with is actually, because I said, dude, is, is it the warm up? Is it fact finding? Is it presenting? Is it closing? Is it building value? Is it cooling down, right? It, whatever. He said the biggest problem he experiences is actually presenting, knowing how to present. He said, I do a pretty good job of asking them to do business with me. He said, but I don't understand like the actual flow and the system for how to present the product properly, right? Because when you present the product properly, they buy before you give them quotes. Okay, let me say that again. If you present the product properly, they buy before you give them quotes. Amazing, right? Okay, so I'm gonna give you my five-step process on exactly what I do. I'm not gonna walk through it step by step. It would take me, you know, 20 minutes. I don't have time. I got another strategy call in like 10 minutes. Okay, but I'm gonna walk through five-step process of what I would do if I was you and I wanted to be better at presenting. In, in, because think about presenting. What is presenting? When you're presenting a product and you're pitching, so to speak, right? You are trying to make it attractive sexy, something someone wants. You want to take it away. You want the value to be higher than the price, right? All these things come into, uh, in, into play when you're in sales. And a lot of people struggle with, how do I make it so flippin' attractive that they have to do it with me today? I'm going to show you how I am able to close literally almost every deal that lasts this long by using this five-step process, all right? Is this, is this going to be helpful? Yeah, it's going to be helpful. Okay, so number one, number one, okay, is, and this is the actual, like, when I'm presenting, okay, when I'm presenting, I'm going to, I use all these, all right, okay, one, two, three, four, five, okay, I got the best handwriting in the world, okay, don't make fun of me, okay, five benefits, okay, that's the first one, is I always present at least five benefits, Okay, but when I'm presenting benefits, I'm asking questions after every benefit. I'm asking permission to do to show them. I'm asking question after every benefit. I'm asking two on the agent portion, right? And I'm asking another one to see which one they like best. I'm creating engagement. I'm trying to create that extra engagement because it, they, they, I mean, the whole thing, the main thing agents struggle with, with the presenting process, okay, is building value, building value, Okay, and creating engagement. Creating engagement. Dude, which one do you struggle with? Is it value, is it engagement, or is it both? Or is it that, dude, I don't know the words to say. Okay, that's why we have a CA sales system now to handle that immediately. Okay, so five benefits. The next one, okay, the next one. Nine trial closes is what I call them. That's, those, those are questions. Those are engagement pieces. That is, Hey, Betty, I need you to pay attention to me right now, and I, I need them involved in the process. I listened to an audio recording in the middle of a coaching session yesterday, okay, and there was not enough engagement. The dude was talking more than the, the, a lot more than the client. The client was given one-word answers, and he was okay with it. When you get one-word answers, right, like yes, no, whatever, ask another question. Yes or no is not okay. They're not engaged. When, when I give you a, oh yes, yeah, okay, right? I'm not engaged, I'm not a part of that. Always ask a follow-up question because the biggest thing is you need them engaged in the process, whether you're in, in, in the field, 
in their home, on the phone. If they're not engaged, it does not matter. You will not get the deal if they're not with you, right? Like if you're not with me right now, if I'm not entertaining and creating engagement with you, you're gonna t tune out and watch another one of my videos, okay? So engagement is key. That's why I use those nine trial closes, okay? Also, the pre-close, the pre-close. That's after I've asked the nine trial closes and I'm letting them know, hey, hey Betty, I'm about to show you three options, and I actually know which ones you're gonna pick, but before I show you those, I need a favor. Can you do me a favor? Yes, that's another trial close, right? That's 10 now, okay? When I show you these, I just need you to let me know which one makes the most sense to you. Can you do that for me? Yes, what did they just do? They said, I'm freaking buying, man, I'm doing it, okay? Perfect, excellent. Then, I'm showing three options. Okay, from largest to smallest. Okay, largest to smallest. And then I'm actually asking for the business. When I ask for the business, I'm gonna ask in a way that is repeating the pre-close, right? I'm about to show you three options. They come with all five of the benefits, especially the price lock, which I know you loved. And I still believe, I think I know which one you're gonna pick. Okay, so here's the three options. There's this one this one, this one, which of these three would you like to leave to your daughter, Susie, when that time comes? This one, this one, or this one? It's easy, right? I'm asking, I'm going for the clothes, okay? But, but what does this do? This creates engagement, it creates value, they're a part of the process, they're with you, they're paying attention, okay? They're engaged, and then they're making decisions. They're making so many stinking decisions, I bet, Throughout my presentation process, I'm making them make probably like 50 decisions throughout the 45 minutes or an hour. That like the, Typically, I, I, I won't even show three options. I won't even show three options until I get to uh, 40 minutes, right? Okay, till I get to 40 minutes. Also, every single call that you take, every single call that you take, whether it's a transfer or they answer the phone and talk to you for a minute, if, they, if you can talk to them for three minutes, then you can talk to them for 20 minutes, okay? If you, can get to, if you can get them to three, you can get them to 20. I promise you, okay? Most people are giving up way too easy, okay? So five benefits, nine trial closes, pre-close. Dylan, how are we doing on time? Okay, benefits, trial close, pre-close, three options, ask. This is my five-step process for creating value, creating engagement. This is how you present. This is the best way to present in the insurance industry. And if you're not using it, you're losing business. Hey, you love this video and you want some brain food? I got five books that every new insurance agent should read. Go watch that, grab the books, see you over there. When you read a book, when you go to an event, when you listen to a book, when you go to a mastermind, when you buy a university,